exciting panorama that captures the spirit of a rebellious generation. It's a beautiful story. I mean, uh, whether you're into musicals or not, it's one of the great stories ever told. The crowning point, really, for Victor Hugo's masterpiece, Les Miserables, uh, really started way back in June 1832. Victor Hugo's masterpiece, Les Miserables, is all the power and spectacle of those turbulent years leading to the French Revolution. It's the most um, interesting universal story, and it, it touches everybody. He would write naked at his desk every day. It was the beginning of a lifelong confrontation. Take him off. A duel of wills with the fanatic police inspector, Javert. I think it's one of the great stories of the triumph of the human spirit. If the book isn't really um, strong and that the songs don't grow out of the book, um, you don't have a good musical. Jean Valjean's crime was stealing a loaf of bread. Since opening in 1985, Les Miserables has become something of an institution here in the West End. Cameron is really much more of an old-fashioned producer in the sense that he does have strong, creative views. Victor Hugo's story, um, you know, is about contemporary people, even though it's set in a period setting. I don't necessarily know that any of us truly understand the significance of it. I knew it was going to be a big hit years ago, but I didn't know it was going to last 21 years. It is a story of incredible courage and relentless pursuit. I was Gavroche when I was in it last back in 2003, and about seven years later I've come back to play Mary's. I saw it here in London, um, but I didn't see it until Cameron and Tom were already making the movie. Anne Hathaway, her song I Dreamed a Dream, which of course everybody feels they know, is a single shot without cutting for three minutes of her in close-up. It's one of the great performances ever given. Um, there wasn't anything about this job that wasn't daunting. I mean, it, we were all just kind of this mixture of, of, of anxiety and gratitude and, and, and excitement. It's, you know, it's easy to see why Eponine loves Marius when he, when he looks like Eddie Redmayne, you know? I had to sing. Just had to sing. I was completely, completely out of my comfort zone. <laughs>